Introducing the Barnhart 5-6 Universal Curette. This instrument can be used for both posterior and anterior teeth for both supra and subgingival calculus removal. To find the correct working end, I'm going to hold the instrument to the distal of the tooth I'm going to scale. You can see that the lower shank is parallel to the distal surface and the functional shank is going up and over the tooth. You can also see that the bend or the V is pointing to the distal, which is correct. If I flip it to the opposite end, now the shank is crossing over the tooth and the V or bend is pointing to the mesial, which is not correct. I'm now going to demonstrate on tooth number 30 and 31. Before I begin, I'm going to maintain good ergonomics and a modified pen grasp. I have an intraoral fulcrum I'm going to insert right at the distal buccal line angle of tooth number 31. I'm inserting with the back of the instrument, closing the face to the tooth at a zero degree angulation and inserting subgingival. I'm going to engage the toe third and establish a 70 to 80 degree working angulation. I'm going to use a wrist activation and use short controlled vertical strokes as I work my way to the distal interproximal, going 51%. After scaling the distal surface, I'm going to come out of the sulcus. I'm going to insert with the back of the instrument, re-engage that toe third right at the distal buccal line angle, and I'm going to use a wrist activation using short controlled overlapping oblique strokes across the direct buckle. As I come across the buckle surface into the mesial line angle, I'm going to start to roll the handle between my index and thumb, stay adapted, maintain a good modified pen grasp, and use short controlled overlapping vertical strokes into the mesial interproximal. Now I'll be demonstrating on tooth number 30. I'm going to insert with the back of the instrument at a zero degree angulation, right at the distal buccal line angle, insert subgingively, come up to a 70 to 80 degree working angulation, engage the toe third, which is one and two millimeters of the working end, I'm using a wrist activation with short, controlled, overlapping vertical strokes, working my way towards the distal interproximal. I'm going to come out of the sulcus, re-engage the toe third, inserting with the back. Now I'm going to use a wrist activation with an oblique stroke across the direct buckle with short, controlled, overlapping oblique strokes. I'm maintaining a modified pen grasp and good ergonomics. As I come towards the mesial line angle, I'm gonna slightly roll the handle between my index and thumb, maintain my modified pen grasp, staying adapted as I roll into the mesial interproximal. I'm using a vertical stroke going 51% halfway into the mesial interproximal. Once I'm done scaling the lower right posterior teeth, I'm going to go back and do a horizontal stroke right at the distal buccal line angle because this is a commonly missed area for calculus. 